Good morning and welcome. It's Saturday morning, the 17th of February, 2024. This is The Beautiful Game. My name is Mike Messicano. I am here with the man we sent on loan to cut the wire when they scored the hat trick and he is back. Toyo Siafalayo, you are very welcome. It is great to have you after a month of football festivities. Yeah, good morning, Mike. Uh, good morning to viewers at home. It's nice being back on the show. And, uh, mm. you know, I'm excited to be back in the country. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It's back in the country. Tell us, tell us, uh, how was the experience uh, in Abidjan and the other cities? You went to... Uh, well, I went to Boake also. Boake. Yeah, Mosukro. So Abidjan about three and all of that. Yeah. yeah, tell us about the experience. So, yeah, you know, it was very nice for me, you know, um, going to... Of uh, three cities in Abidjan, I mean, I saw him in Côte because mm. yeah, I went by road and I had to, you know, juggle from Togo, Benin, Ghana, then Ivory Coast itself. Mm. And I must say, I, I loved the atmosphere over there, mm -hmm. except for the fact that I could not speak so much French. Mm. I could not speak so much French, and um, you know, but within one month of action there, yeah, I understood the, you know, the, the basic French I could use to communicate. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Comment ça va? Mm. But for the first two weeks, I'm on Bamio. The place is where I could, I, I could have paid um, 2,000 sefa there about. Yeah. He actually took like 4,000 sefa with ah. me. But all thanks to, ah. um, all thanks to one of my bosses over there, you know, he. It was the boss boy, I did a Language baron, if not for OJB or more, I would not survive for that place. But OJB did me well. So, you know, ah. he lives in Paris, so it was, you know, guiding me through French and yeah. English. Ah. It was a wonderful it's, tournament, I'm saying. This is goes boy. And I'm ah. French, ah. French English baron. Yeah, so they were like, hey, hey, hey. Then they come to Nigeria, I don't go back. Then they come to back. Who retaliates, right? No more. All right, it's great to have you here. You're welcome. Yeah, now, the show is off. Um, we'll do a little bit of AFCON review. Of course, uh, you can send in your comments, 2 That's on WhatsApp. WhatsApp, let's start with that. We'll open the phone lines a little bit later on. But the last time we were here, it was a day to the AFCON finals. And, of course, it's no longer news that Nigeria lost the finals 2-1. Ivory Coast, of course, hosts a wonderful story. Sebastian Hala scoring, Hale scoring the winning goal. And, of course, uh, giving you a fairy tale story. Just a, a year ago, this man, uh, two years back, was diagnosed with uh, testicular cancer, but then he has turned it all around. I was quite uh, in smiles when I saw the welcome that Borussia Dortmund gave to Sebastian Halle as he went back to the club. But it's no longer news, right? We'll start with the Afghan team of the tournament. Let's take a look at that team of the tournament now, and uh, let's talk about it all. Nigeria, Toyosi, of course, in the show, has been a proponent and one who has supported the Super Eagles. Well, it's been uh, almost a week now since that has happened, but le yeah. let's just do a, a quick review and overview of the tournament. How? Uh, did you see the Super Eagles' performance? Uh, were, we, were we well represented in the team of a tournament? And uh, next year, just next year is another AFCON. Yeah, so we next need year to Morocco. Start, yes, we need to start thinking uh, forward. And we must qualify what. first, though, because uh, we haven't even played the qualifiers. The qualifiers. So there's actually a little bit, um, I recall, there's a little bit doubt if we can actually play this tournament in, um, in, in I think it's, it's next year, actually, but... It won't be in January, it will be in the summer in because summer. we're going to Morocco and Morocco yes. has a very good, a good weather, weather for, you know, exactly. uh, for playing summer football. Play and summer. then you're talking about um, Nigeria being represented well. I think the Nigeria Super Eagles had a very wonderful tournament, except for the fact that they won, I mean, you know, they were very tired in the final. Forget the final thing, they had a very wonderful tournament. The tactics they used was something we could actually, you know, put our, our minds to saying, yes, Jose Pesero has figured out something to, you know, use for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. 3-4-3 three, three for the Super Eagles, 3-5-2 at times, I loved it. Except from the final where that tactics was, you know, and you, you know, mm. Charlie Bobby would say he don't cast. He don't he, cast. Of course, he did cast in that final. Mm. And when he, when, when Jose Pesero would decide to bring in Kelechi in a turn into four at the back, the game was over. They had scored the second goal. The second goal came in in the 81st minute, well, even and like there that, was nothing. The number one, be, the, uh, one major problem I saw with the Super Eagles was uh, fitness levels. That's the thing. Like it was, everybody, everybody, almost everybody were playing. Oh, fitness. Every, almost everybody were playing um, 90 minutes. So me, I didn't Before, miss any any minute yeah, in that in, the, in that time. Remember, Olai, no, after I think it was the second match, was it came around where Olai now said, "Oh, I don't tire." Almost everybody fell down the pitch after that. Like, and yeah. we, you know, we played Angola. Our, our after fitness, that Angola yes. game, everybody fell our down. Our fitness level. I know tournament football are three three days, two mm -hmm. two days, three three days. Our fitness level was a major concern. We played semi final on um, I think it was on a Sunday. Mm. And then, no, I think we played on the Monday, Monday, I guess. But, but it, it, it was like three, three, four days. Three, four days. It's a normal toleration, though. And, and our tactics alone itself is rigorous. Because when I go to their trainings, these guys run, they run. to and fro. You're, you're thinking you're like you're playing Simeone kind of football. That's just what we did. We played demonic football in that one. Wow, OK. 
All right, uh, that's it. The team of the tournament there. Uh, I don't know how we were, we were talking about this earlier. Is there anything you have? Uh, do you have a problem with that team? Or yeah, I, I do. Know, I there, do have uh, it. I have, it. I have a big problem with team. it. Uh, who, who else? Who else did they expect? Frank Oyeka should have been in that team. That man Frank was Oyeka. the octopus of the Super Eagles, winning balls. He never wanted to pass the ball. Just win the ball, allow it will be to pass to the nearest man. So that was what he just wanted to do. They have been a bit progressive. I mean, we've seen deep line playmakers. We've seen people who... But, but we, that, is where, that, that is where, now, you know, at least. Where, where the instruction now falls back to the coach. What did the coach say? He will be told us in this... Uh, not told us, he told me myself, because I asked him a question, saying, Nigerians are saying you're not creative enough. You and Frank Oyeka. But he said, he wrote the coach, Aksima and Oyeka, to play. Destroy any forward play that the opponent has after been. And then after destroying it, give it to the nearest, nearest man. Don't try to force a pass that will make it come back to the to the defense line very fast. Remember, we're playing two midfielders. So, that's the point. That's the point. That, that tells you that the lack of tactical uh, ability with the coach. Pass it to the nearest man. Now, look at the team. First of all, you're playing five defenders. Forget any that three, four, three, whatever. Nah, it's, whatever. it's five defenders. Play five defenders. That's taking out five people already. Yes. How many people did I left me, left the beach? Five. Mm -hmm. Two are destroyed. How many people do you have left? No, we only have four. No, four. now. Okay, okay, okay. Five, 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 five. Okay, now yeah. You have five people. Five people, yeah. Two are destroyed. How many do you have left? Three. You have three. Who are those three? Yeah, attackers. Ademola, uh, Ademola, and Ademola, 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 and Victor Simen. With this thing you said alone, it shows you the tactical in a ineptitude of the coach. And even the Ademola, because if he, Ademola, Ademola is even coming back. I understand, having, I understand having five, two. It's okay. You can play that five, two. Mm -hmm. But there has to be somebody to link. The, and the, that was the problem. Attack. There was nobody linking Osime. So you see long balls to Osime. Was a problem. Osime could come go the fight. fight. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was the thing of the tournament. Ah. Osime would come, chase the ball, pass to the pass to the the fingers. Thing, Osime could and should have scored more goals. Because at the tournament, o, 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 Osime took 24 shots. Out of the 24, I think almost half of those shots were on target. Mm -hmm. Osime could have done better with some chances he had. Of course. There yeah, are some chances he could have used his legs. Well, you know, you just wanted to use Ed for thinking, okay, yes, okay. I, I know how to know. So, apart from Frank Oyeka, let's take a look at that team again. Who else do you think should have been there or should not have been there? Because, I mean, for I, me, I think Emilio Unsue okay scored, scored five goals. Yes. But why? it why? never mattered in that tournament. This man finished scoring in the group stage. In the group stage? Finished scoring. Only just two games. Uh, he scored those five uh, goals. Only just two games. Uh, Let me now tell you something. Um, Undala of Angola. Yes. That got to the quarterfinals. Mm. Scored four goals. Mm. Could have been in that team. That team. So I, I feel like the five goals he scored just you know pushed in my head. Just pushed in Even my though Simeon had a good tournament, more than him. Even for the goals this man scored, Simeon scored also scored same amount of goals, but they removed these goals, and it was not because Simeon was offside. Most of the goals either the, the, there was there was a foul in the build up, or maybe there was um, they were they both went out of play. Score. Let's Simeon go scored there. goals that yeah, VR are chalked off now. VR are not be football. I know that you won't go. No, I'm only telling you. Most, no. most of these goals, Simeon no score. Most of these goals were scored. No, and we had already debilitated before VR was saying. Eh, eh, now rule now, football rule now. We, we, uh, if I'm back up the net, I'll be no fight. Now football rule. If I'm back up the net, I'll be no fight. They had a full score. What did they talk? At, at least they had a first. You know they bring that kind of argument, that kind of thing, come here, Jared. But for me, that kind of thing made them die if I have the goal. Below, be, be, below, in, for, <laughs> uh, above, above all, I, I would say Osimen himself did not have that, that top tournament, of course. Mm. But regardless, mm. it was one of the best performances. Okay, you just saw something there that was Osimen on Iwobi. Um, uh, something I also wanted to talk about was cyberbullying. Now, a number of uh, uh, players were, you know, were, were, were open to cyberbullying, as it were. Some people say trolling, some people call it bans. It happens in football. But it will be was a major point of discussion because it will be deleted all his pictures, deactivated. He didn't deactivate his account. He deleted all his pictures but one left on his Instagram account. And uh, attention was called to cyberbullying. Now, Usime, uh, Ahmed Musa and JJ Okocha, as, as well as other players, also dropped statements. And this was Victor Osimhen's statement. He said, we win together, we lose together, we are all one. Some of our fans should do better. Of course, after that, Ahmed Musa also dropped a statement, uh, talking about it. Then uh, uh, Iwobi's uncle, that's talking about uh, the great uh, JJ Austin Okocha, also dropped a statement. This was Ahmed Musa's own. He says, dear fans, I urge you to halt the cyberbullying directed towards Alex Iwobi. This is just a violation of decency but also a serious crime. That was Ahmed Musa. The final statement that we have here was the one from his uncle, Augustine J.J. Okocha, the legend himself. And uh, he also spoke about it and said, you know, uh, how, uh, you know how we shouldn't uh, bully uh, people online. He says, I pray for my country, Nigeria, and the people that can, only, uh, that can only hate and see nothing good in others. Treat people the way you want them to treat you. So, 
What? It, it, it will be it will be as it were. Uh, the, it's come from different quarters that look there was nothing especially. Uh, should I say? Uh, there was nothing especially antagonistic directed at him. It was the same thing that happens to every player, every other place around the world, even the greatest players of all time. But In fact, the only player I have ever, I can never, I can ever remember that was never bullied per se. I can, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. it's maybe Ronaldinho. I'm, I'm serious. I, because from Neymar, is it Hazard? Is, is it, it Messi? Uh, Messi? Yeah. Is it Cristiano? I'm telling you, I, I, even back then, people, I, I, I'm not saying that maybe he was not bullied, but there was something about Ronaldinho. He was hardly... Well, never that's just it. I never, I never saw. Uh, well, well, you know, you know it's, it's a different thing when but it's a different thing when club or rivals are bullying you mm. or, are, or are coming at you with. At you, you. Okay. But yeah. when your own people are coming with, you know, tweets that you are not supposed to be seen on your timeline, your timeline, or you come to your old pictures and you see new comments saying, "Are you even a player? Are you, you know?" I'm sorry, but our mental health is very, very important. It is. Some people cannot take criticisms. That is very extreme. Okay. There's a different thing when you say, okay, okay, Alex Wobi should be dropped. He's not doing this. He's not doing that. Perfect. But when you're saying, I give one, how are we sure your judge, your coach's nephew, let's do DNA test, let's do this. It is going out overboard already. You know, mm -hmm. it, it gets you to start thinking, doubting your abilities. It takes only a courageous person to come out and actually even say, yes, I'm sorry for what happened in the tournament. Let, let, it, let bygones be bygones. Mm -hmm. But this is not the first time we're seeing a case of cyberbullying. But Wobi's own is just one that, you know, just came out and um, people are actually against it. Mm. Most of the journalists have come out and spoken against it. Even the minister, that is um, John Eno, has also advised Wobi. He spoke with him when they saw each other in, um, in Abuja. So I think Nigerians should, you know, calm down. In front, they say convey. Let them calm down. And then cyberbullying should be... You can, you can criticize. Wobi had some terrible performance against South Africa, against um, Cote in the final. But... That doesn't okay. mean you should so, start saying uh, something. Uh, as, as much as um, it is valid, whatever happened to it will be, you might call it troll, and his mental health is important, and I am not dismissive of that issue. I would want to also draw into uh, consideration the case of uh, Francis Uzoho. Francis Uzoho was um, our number one keeper up until the beginning of AFCON. Yeah. And we remember, even from the qualifiers, when there was a general outcry for Francis Uzoho to be dropped, a general outcry, you know. And this was not how they started. It was the time when Francis Zoho gave us wonderful performances. Yeah. He went to club football. In fact, there was a... By the World Cup, he had one of the wonderful performances. At that time, yes, when he went to feature against uh, uh, Manchester United in Old yeah, Trafford. Yeah, that was Omania Cyprus, uh, yeah. For his uh, si si Europa Cyprus League. Yeah, club. And he, he put in a good performance there, you know. And so the plaudits were there at one point in time. But it went downhill, most especially after we didn't qualify for the, the World, World Cup. Cup with Ghana issue. And up from then until now, Uzoho was, Uzoho, Uzoho was so bad that when somebody else performs well, they begin that's when attack. Wambali doesn't perform well. Uzoho then goes to Uzoho, and they will see, they, it will, it's, it's more like when Nigeria wins, Ghana begins to take that. Uh, exactly. Now my point is this, to, to you see, the other players, why didn't they stand up for Uzoho also? We, we understand. I'm not dismissing no, no. the claim of, I'm not saying that. That didn't happen. That, yes, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it is wrong for them to stand up for it will be. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, he, like, sometimes they say, person no cry for help. How help won't come? Maybe yeah. he showed that he was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But my point is this. The team did not stand up for Uzo. Fact. Uzo also stood Nobody. up for himself. Uzo wrote, if he's sure for you, no. take him and sign. That thing was a response to somebody who was talking to him. It wasn't a general statement. It was, it was balanced between him and somebody. And then the person put it out. You, 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 but whether he responded or he did not respond, Alex Wobi could have responded and then they hit more on him. Mm -hmm. In fact, they for don't fire at more. My point, fire, is, yeah. my point is this. Why didn't the players stand up for Uzo? Is there any excuse? Okay, I, I, th I think it's a thing of Uzo's own. I don't really know what, why the players didn't stand up for him. But, but even during the match, even during the match, even during the match where Uzo had fumbled, we saw players giving him a stern look. See what happened in the, that, that friendly against uh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. When Uzo considered, look at what, um, the, way, the way Indy looked at him. So I think the players themselves didn't really say it mattered. Are you players seeing? who did not even now, are you seeing? No, players now. who didn't come for the tournament. Uh -huh. They also wrote statements. Uh -huh. Now are you so, seeing what I said about Uzoho versus Iwobi? Now I am not like well, I said, it was not only Iwobi that suffered. It was not only these guys that I'm suffered. I'm not dismissing Maduka Iwobi's suffered. concern. It is valid. His concern about being cyberbullied, we should not cyberbully him. But my point is this: they are favourites. Yeah. And it was quite obvious. Uzoho has been 
But, but now we have compared to, compared but, but now we have started speaking up own, against and it's no, no. has over been over yes two, a long, wait, wait. almost two years we have started Steady. speaking we have started speaking against it now so we should expect no, yes. more to we come we should expect more my point it is, is this. it didn't start 10 years ago my point is this my point is this my point is this this happened the players also they should look at themselves like you mentioned, a lot of them also, it was even obvious that, ah, they were not. No, how many of them gave Wobi that kind of look when he messed up? No, no, none of them. It was only one Bali that actually did. How many of them? Because we've seen even best of friends, we know football. Your best of friend will mess up on top of you, go para You go para from, yeah, man. So, no. why they do that? Because it is normal. You understand? Mm -hmm. Ronaldo, they run, they expect pass. Marcelo, no give up. Sometimes, too. You go, you do, Ronaldo, you even the para when you score, go, and it be him. I still remember Abeloa. They give cross. Ronaldo one wrong with the Abeloa intercept, scored the goal. Ronaldo the para. Whereas for Abeloa, I don't know. Natim Golo. Natim Golo. Ronaldo the para for Abeloa. That's even when person do something with the okay. Then how much more when your teammate doesn't do so well? And so my own is that I'm trying to point out that 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 uh, the, 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 there are those that are favorites and there are those that are not. I, and so I, and me, I understand your favorite part, but, as, but uh, if stood up for him, it's valid. Other people, Uzo, other, it's, it's Uzo, other people's time too. And Uzo, man, we could call Kuyi dropped out from the team. Yeah, but it's, it's coming back in March. Right? Or John Igalo. Yeah, Baba, Baba ran away. Yakuba, he went in 2010. Back. Sani Keita also. They had to call, they had to call, yeah, even the coming back, Seth, or Joe Igalo had to, ah. He crept in small small. Yeah. Uzo Ho was, see, kudos to Uzo Uzo came back and was in that team. Was taking his number one. You see, they'll, they'll come, uh, we journalists will come go meet up, go to talk with him, say, now you are no longer this thing. The, Uzo was even. And he was still speaking. Of all the players on the bench, Uzo was the one that the light, shine, the light was. The most, yeah. You were there. You attended press conference. Because they were, they were asking him. You understand? Uh, they were yeah, asking him. They were yeah. trying to. In, 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 in as much as at that point, I feel like a Nigerian journalist. Should only come I, 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 I can actually see. I, I, I see where you're coming from now because I was in the stadium when was against. I think it was against Cameron or who or what team were playing. Mm -hmm. was about to come on when Mbambali got injured. This player, these players themselves didn't have courage in one. But I mean, Uzo himself. And then fans in the stadium were chanting, "Ah, if Uzo enter shots, any shots, even online, he were already drooling Uzo before the game started." So you know, it, it has this side bubbling has a lot to do when it comes to the confidence of these players. Yeah, he will be himself. According to the internal reports, he's not moved by all these things by a this lot. Thing. He's yeah, not even yeah, considering yeah. time because he has the highest cap after Musa in the Super Rugby right now. So he's not considered about, he's not considering retire yeah. retirement. But we should stop all these things. I understand that why did other people not stand up for Uzo, did not stand up for Mwanaka, did not stand up for Yakubu or Sani Keita, those years, or, we, or, or Igalo. But now, I, I so much believe that we are in the era of it has started, let us do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, um, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's take some comments here. Well, while we're still on this, we'll soon sort out because this is our AFCON round of review. The second half of the show, of course, we'll get back into Europe and the Premier League. Of course, the big, big thing today is my master Chelsea. Will they forget you today, Chelsea? <laughs> well, good morning, Mr. Mike and co welcome to Sport I mean, Now, we welcome you. <laughs> Chelsea will hear them today, water, water. Man City 7 0. Ah! Oh my God. Tap PS2. We didn't live. Up Man City. Godwin Gaplitz from Magburu. Godwin. Okay, we'll come to you very soon. Hi, crew. Hey, Jagba, how are you doing, man? Okay, uh, Mikey Lukshap, thank you very much. He says, on AFCON, can someone please tell me the reason for including Ahmed Musa? You know what's spoken about it. Ahmed Musa is the captain. He should have been in the final. He should, yes. should have entered. If, Ahmed, if Ahmed Musa was there for his experience. And then the coach now later said something. You see, yeah, let's something I have understand. The leadership is a strong team. But leadership, apart from being given, a, you need somebody amongst those that you follow mm -hmm. who is a, uh, who acts in some way as a quasi leader or some sort of a, a, a link you know, between a you second, and your players. Exactly, a link. And Coach Jose Pesero said that Ahmed Musa was that person. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I knew that was the reason why I brought him. So he was very needed in that team. Even if he didn't kick. He said he's his friend, he's his but, assistant. Exactly. So, you need, so Ahmed Musa was really needed, right? Uh, right so, okay, Jose Pesero, well, we've not heard anything from the NFF. Now, he's, he's no longer the Super Eagles coach right now. Right now, because his uh, contract has expired, expired after the AFCON. Yeah. of February, Sunday. That's when his contract expired. Uh, we don't know, 11th, I mean, 11th, pardon me. But, you know, we don't know what next. But the thing is that he met his target, which yeah, of is course, semi -final. minimum of the semi-final tickets. He got up to the final. So well, for me, I, 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 I would not that. want him to continue, except if he has to change some of his ways. Okay, your tactics that you started from the first game got us to the semi-final. We played well, yes. But you could have also found a way to adjust your formation to make sure that we play attacking football. Nigerians are not used to, you know, packing the bus waiting for uh, um, the ball to counter. 
So we're not used to that. At least we have players to play this style. Play that beautiful ball who, who, I mean, we, we want to see. When it, when, when it is against Argentina or maybe the, the world powers, you can, you, you can pack the boss. When you're playing at your African side, when you need to attack, attack. I, I saw what Kedechi in Acho's introduction and Mofi's introduction did in the fine, final 10 minutes. So you know, imagine you had brought them in the second half. What would come out against this guy? You don't have nothing to lose in the okay. final. Talking about this, let's take a look at the rankings. FIFA rankings came out recently and Nigeria is up to third in Africa, 28 in the world, up from 42. Uh, before the tournament, we were sixth. Yeah, we're sixth in Africa. Now we're up to third. FIFA, of course, released those rankings just uh, Thursday here. Uh, and, of course, there were also the world rankings. Nigeria is doing quite well. We'll move up. Uh, this is the top ten in the world. Argentina, France, England, Belgium, Brazil, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, Italy, and Croatia. This is the top ten for the world. We'll show you next the top ten for Africa, where Nigeria is now up to third position. And that is, of course, based off our performance, performance at the yeah. Africa Cup of Nations and all of that. Uh, while this is going on, let me just take a, a, a message here from Ajala. Okay, yeah, this is the Africa ranking. You can look at it there. Morocco, Senegal, Nigeria is third. Egypt is in fourth position. Cote d'Ivoire, Tunisia, Algeria, Mali, Cameroon, and, of course, the Bafana, Bafana of South Africa. Banana, banana. Wrap it up. All right. Now, let's, uh, let me take a, a comment from Ajala. Ajala says, uh, from Joe says, it's high time Nigeria stop looking for scapegoat. Anytime we lose, we either blame CAF, FIFA, Rev, Code. That's it. Yeah. We lost, we lost. Forget, don't mm. bring in scapegoat into uh, this. Almost, it's, almost, it's, almost no players in that team it's had high issues time that, that final. fact that we no longer have crew. It's not like we don't have. They were not chosen. Yes. We don't have what? Yes, it's high time we accept the fact that we no longer have creative midfielders. We do have. They're in the not, team, they're not, they're they're not, not choosing. They were, in the team, there was no creative the midfielder. The tactics did but not allow a creative Baba, midfielder in that team. Yes. I tell you, we've seen Ian Acho play behind uh -huh. the striker before. We've even seen Alex Iwobi play that position. According to what Toyosi said, from the question he personally asked Alex Iwobi, Alex Iwobi was playing according to instructions. And people have come up with the defense for Alex Iwobi that he was playing according to instructions mm -hmm. and thereby... It stifled his normal style of play that he would have done better it's, it's because... It's not the down, most of exactly. the And, and, so, it, and, and the days he didn't do well. Exactly. And then, he, he look at it, look at the whole of Europe. And we're talking about J.J. Okocha, before he went to Europe, look, the, 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 the golden team of Nigeria, 80% of that team, they were in the league. In fact, they started from Liga before they even started moving out. From Rashidi Yekini to Amokachi, who played in uh, Kaduna. But, uh, Rashidi Yekini but from, I, 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 uh, I want to say, the, us, to us, the, 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 game, the game has evolved now. If you look at most of our players, don't play the NPFL before they move out of the, out of the, Fact. Out of the country. Well, that's, that doesn't mean that we cannot still do get some people to. We can, to, we can, to, but to see, okay. Let I me mean, look okay, at Mabel in Ivory. Uh, uh, spoke uh, like that. Uh, see, my point is this, Baba. We could, we, it was wrong for us to go to our tournaments without having at least one person outfit in player. that creative. I know, I in understand. That see, okay, Very wrong. We come to the league. We come to the league. We have teams here. You want to tell me that out of our top six, seven, eight teams, I'm talking about Yimba. Uh, uh, Yimba. I'm Enugu talking about Rangers. Uh, Enugu Enugu Rangers. I'm talking about uh, Remo Stars. Be 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 uh, insurance. insurance. I'm talking about Remo Stars. Even Sporting Lagos, you cannot get me. Look for the best Yimba things amongst all of them. I just pick one person. Yeah, I understand. So you. that's the. the I, I understand. That, we, we, we can actually pick. I, I understand. That on that one, Emo, leave. I'm not excuse no day. Uh, it's, 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 even if you send up for bench, I'm just saying. Jose Pesero himself was not. Did you use a number 10 in that tournament? No. But I, when you see it, uh, you think Kariya may say not be your first plan A, but see, what was who's the person? Pesero didn't have a plan B. That's the thing. That, that, was, plan what, B. that was what killed the Nigerian in the final. Is that, okay, there was no plan B. A plan B is a plan A, no work. Ah, Umo, this 10, I'm not too no, bad. No, no, there, there was a plan B, ah, but you don't use. A, I beg you. When, if, when you brought the creative side, you saw the Baba, creativity came Baba, in. You creativity cannot play, came you cannot play tournament football without having plan A, plan B, plan C. No, he had a plan B, but he, he, he stopped on. No, he, he stopped on to use it. He's a lost stubborn. He did not have. He, 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 he does. does. That is when see. Look, Kelechi and Achok came in. You don't necessarily need to when have. Did he, when did he play Kelechi and Achok? It was almost like a necessity. He, that's he didn't yeah. have an option. He that, didn't have anything. That's what I'm saying. He's only stubborn. He's only stubborn. When you have a plan B, you don't wait until they push into the corner. No. You he has a plan. No, no. He has and a plan B. He's just stubborn. He's just a stubborn person. Of, uh, we have done well, and kudos to the Super Eagles. But when it is based on play, this is one of the worst Super Eagles I have seen based on play. Well, I would, not, I, I would not blame the team. I would blame the coach. Yes. Yes. Because yes, this is not, this, this is not play. about players playing. Because, this because is not about players don't know enough yes. to play that setup. My it is point, the coach. My point is that my point is that based on play, on the results they've done well. Kudos to them. But it was it was terrible watching them at times. Mm -hmm. You were I, even all the matches we won against Angola, against South Africa, against Cameroon. No, we, we were wasteful in most games. Against we were, we were wasteful. wasteful in most games. The ones against, I saw that we dominated and could have scored more. 
We were, we look at the one we watched together in this was, in, 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 in TVC. Yeah? You, 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 not even, you could not, you said you could not even talk. The one against you could you talk. Those men miss big chances. Forget those great. I'm talking about play. Forget. Hey, no, you know, play, play, see, the play, see, play was different. I'll be saying talk to you tomorrow. Five forward passes, those Eagles no fit. Five. Like pass ball, five. So, so I, I understand, ah, I understand no, no, I cannot no, no, win this case. Terrible. I understand I cannot win this case. It was well, terrible. I, 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 I will say we exaggerated okay. a lot in Nigeria. All right. All right.